everybody, Phil here. We have a 2017 Alien Air hydrofoil board. Customer of ours managed to rip the uh, track system out of it, um, hitting the sandbar at full speed or something like that. When he ripped this track system out, he had actually taken um, the box, part of the box out, and then uh, part of the board so the foam was exposed. So we chose to fill the tracks completely with polyester resin. It's a good idea, just in general, to make a flat surface, keep stuff out of there, and then seal the board so you don't get any water on the inside. Um, you can see the tracks are completely full. We prepped the surface, sanded it lightly just to make it smooth, and then alcoholed it. Put the uh, foil mount on to get it right where we wanted to. We chose to keep it in the exact same location of the original track. We could have chose to move it farther aft or farther forward. We left it right where it was, here in the middle. Outlined it with painter's tape so it's easy to put on once we pull the backing. And that's it. So we're going to install this here in a second and uh, get this guy back out there on the original board. We're going to get this thing installed. The next thing we're going to do is peel the backing on this VHB tape. Trick of ours is to use a knife on a corner, pierce the edge, and then lift straight up like this. Um, it'll stick. VHB sticks to everything, but it'll eventually come, give you a little lip, and you can pull it the rest of the way off. It's very difficult to kind of get off if you don't do it this way. Um, just like that. That's normally how it goes. Kind of peel the whole thing up. Get it going. And then you can uh, get ready to stick it down. It's very important that you do all of your surface prep to the actual board before you peel the VHB off. Once this is peeled, um, if you drop it or you know make a mistake, get some dust on it or film, this stuff sticks to everything permanently. So you want to be uh, sure that you're ready to go. Um, you can see we got our spot, our area here nice and outlined. I'm going to flip this over and we're going to get this thing stuck down. Just making sure these screws aren't too far up. One of them is a little bit. You want to make sure these are flush so it will stick all the way down. That looks pretty good there. Okay. Also, make sure you install it with the T-nuts on the inside. They need to be captured inside that uh, track you know, for it to work properly. So I'm just going to visually line it up here on the uh, uh, tape we put down. Usually I just kind of get two corners. I'm going to stick down one corner first, like so. Kind of set it like that. And then work on the rest. Perfect. So that's stuck. Peanuts all move, right? We're gonna peel this off, and then we're gonna apply pressure to the uh, plate to make sure that the adhesive um, propagates properly across the surface so you get a permanent um, seal. Now, before we step on this, we're gonna remove these bolts so just the T-nuts are in the inside. Um, you know, just stepping on these is gonna put pressure on the board. Not so much of a big deal with this uh, hydrofoil board because it's very strong, but if you're using it on a foam um, surfboard or SDP. Right. So this is installed, we put uh, pressure on it, all over it, stepped on it to get it to stick on there the rest of the way. This 2017 uh, Alien Air hydrofoil board, which was destroyed and useless, now was given new life um, with the foil mount. He'll be able to get out, out on the water after this cures in a day and have, uh, you know, a completely fixed hydrofoil board. Pretty sweet.